Hi there. Welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge and I'm right here in the middle of my studio at the very end of a mentor workshop. We have seven artists here from incredible backgrounds, so diversified, and I cannot wait to show you what's going on right now. So a mentor workshop here in my studio is artists come here with their own bodies of work, something that they're working on or just wanted to spend some time and kind of have me kick them in the butt a little bit and help them through their projects. So they're bringing their own projects. It's so diversified, I cannot wait to show you. For instance, here's a lady working on her Alice in Wonderland paintings. Oh my gosh, and she's getting ready for a major show. Here's another one doing her florals. Look, based on Van Gogh's themes, you can almost recognize the color concepts. What a great idea, taking classic artist's work, using their color concepts, and bring them into your own bodies of work. That's what this lady is working on. Just fantastic. Let me go walk around here a little bit. I'm doing this before they get here. Oh, I'm going to kick over canvases and everything. Here's a lady who is so concentrated on working on, guess what, wine bottles. She is wonderful. She sketches here. She even has envelopes and sketching on the back of envelopes on her sketchbooks. She is so dedicated to working on trying to work this development of wine bottles. I love this person. This one is another one, totally different. First of all, look at her colors, her, her brushes. Look at her brushes, kind of browns and blacks and tans. But then you come over here, look at the work she's doing. Browns, tans, and blacks. She's doing landscapes. She's also a spectacular collage artist. Same color theme, into the earth tones, right? So she's doing her landscapes, beautiful landscapes. And then she gets into, talk about diversification, collages. She's working on the same colors, all on collages. Wait till I show you the next person. Here's a punk rock drummer. She owns a restaurant, so she's doing her punk rock work too. And she, now she's painting over, you can see over there, people in aprons, it's her theme, aprons. So she's doing uh, chefs and cooks and music and punk rock music. Wonderful artist. Let me go over here and show you someone else. Now you think that's the diversification? How about a shaman? I have someone from India coming in here doing their shamanic work. I think that might be the right word. Working on all these pieces that he is very, very dedicated and obviously at peace and producing these pieces of work, work uh, pieces of artwork, communicating this concept of what he believes in, his religion. Fantastic. Over here. Look at this. This is, come around here. Oh my gosh. His wife is doing the same kinds of things, but in her own feminine way. These are her pieces, you see here. Have a strong message, peacefulness. This is springtime, it is spring. So she's doing all her work based on springtime, rebirth, growth, and pieces like that. Over here, this is the lady that's working on her florals. Fantastic. And over here is another one of these wonderful painters working on well, she uses my color wheel, quite frankly. And as you can see, she's working, she's been spending a couple of years working on my color wheel and her concept using typography, graphics, and collage work. Wonderful. We're having such a great time here. So here in my workshop, wonderful artist was doing these landscapes and asked me the simple question of how do I do dark, foreboding types of landscapes with a heavy message? And she was working on this and I said, let me show you how I do it. Similar concept, but a lot easier. She was working so hard. Let me show you how I do it. So this is how I would start a dark landscape. Start on the canvas with dark colors. Squeeze out my black. Put some dark colors in here. Really wet, really wet. Oh, look at that. Crazy, huh? A little color, not too much color. There we go. And now comes the fun part. Dabbing it a little bit here. I'm gonna make sure there's a stream here. There's my stream and some trees by scraping with my fingers. There's my trees. Don't make them so even. Some over here. Come in here, starting creating a little bit of a sky. 
And this is the beginning. Always start loose. How many times have you heard me say that? Always start loose. And that's pretty loose and wet. What a great beginning. So this is going to be a stream. So I'm going to make sure some of these trees reflect into the stream. Just like that. This one. Ah, there we go. And that's only the beginning. Start loose. You've heard me say that many times. Always start loose. Wet. Lots of color. Don't be skimpy on the color. Lots of color and have fun. Thanks again for looking at this particular Bob Blast. Make sure you share with other ones and I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. But I got some interesting, wonderful news about a, a river cruise in Paris. I'm going to. See you soon. Oh, hi. Here I am relaxing, thinking about next year, April in Paris. Can you imagine April in Paris? Looks like April 13th, 2024. What could be better than that? Well, how about on a deluxe river cruise boat, just for us? So it's mostly sketching and painting all throughout Paris, Givernay, and all the way up to Normandy on our own boat. What I like about it is several things. First of all, we're not gonna be schlepping around and lugging around those big easels and paint boxes. We're gonna be sketching, light sketching on location, and then working and painting back on the boat. Fantastic, they take care of us. Speaking of taking care of us, the Dillmans. They put these, these programs together for me every year. They're spectacular people. The Dillmans.com. Check it out. You'll see the daily 10-day uh, itinerary on this riverboat cruise throughout France. Something I'm looking forward to. I cannot wait. It's something I've always wanted to do. Jean Rene, hello. And so April 13th, 24th in 2018th. Make sure you sign up now because people are signing up. Check out Dilmas.com. Thanks for checking this out.